Hi students, welcome to this session on radiation mechanism of of a dipole antenna. This is a very very important concept. Let us start that. So here we will derive uh, the equation for electric field and magnetic field and radiation distance and the power radiation power radiated by the of a dipole antenna. Of a means we can say it is lambda by two of a right lambda by two dipole. Fine. Okay. So, we can consider uh, half wave dipole antenna as a combination of uh, what you call it, CN dipole antenna. Right? So, we know HCN dipole antenna is nothing but a small current carrying element. Right? If a lot of uh, small current carrying element will form, will be connected or combined, we will get a uh, of a dipole antenna. What is mean by what is that law of wave? The half wave indicates that the L is equal to lambda by 2 length, right? So that's what uh, the length of the antenna is uh, lambda by 2, right? Half wave, wave, wave length by 2. That is what half wave, right? Okay. So let us see that here you can see this is my antenna. This antenna is excited at the center. That means here only we will connect. Uh, see, this is a total length lambda by 2. From here to from center to here, h the distance is h. I have written here, here another h, so 2h total length 2h is equal to lambda by 2. This implies h is equal to lambda by 4. All right, okay. The antenna is kept in the uh, z direction, right? This is z axis, so antenna is kept in the z direction. What we are going to do. We are going to find uh, take a small element. This is this is a small element, and uh, due to that element, uh, instead of finding the total radiation at this point P, we are going to find the radiation at this point P. Due to the total antenna, what we are going to do? We take a small length dz and find element radiation at this point. Then you take next to dz, find radiation at this point like that. So that's what we can consider our uh, of a dipole as a chain of uh, what do you call. It's in dipole antenna. So, like that, we find the total radiation, individual radiation, and add it that will give the total radiation, right? Okay. So, the length is lambda by 2. So, h is equal to lambda by 4. And the antenna is excited at the center, right? So, that is very, very important. Here you see at the center, the current is minimum. Sorry, at the center, impedance is minimum. Right? And at the tip, the impedance is maximum. At the tip of the antenna, the impedance is maximum. That means here impedance is minimum, Z minimum, here Z max. So Z max means their current is zero. So Z is maximum, that is, this implies I is equal to zero at the tip of the antenna. That is very, very important point to be noted because by using this we will manipulate some equations so at the tip that is here i is equal to zero at this point right so at the tip of the antenna the current is zero because impedance is maximum why we have learned in transmission lines uh, you see this is an open circuit line so in the open circuit line, what will happen? Impedance is uh, character impedance Z not. Character six impedance and load impedance are not matched. Load impedance is open circuit maximum. So it is not equal to Z not. So what will happen if the impedance is not matched? It will create standing waves, right? Like this. So it will create a standing wave, and here the impedance is maximum. So this is what happens in the transmission lines. So when the transmission line is tapered like this, here the current flows in this direction, here the current comes in this direction, this is not antenna. But when you taper like this, what will happen? So here, here current flows in opposite direction, so the, there is no radiation. But here, you see the current goes in this direction, the current goes in this direction. So here you see the current flows in the same direction. So it will create a time varying current will induce radiation. And what will happen? This will go come come like this. So the current distribution will be like this. So here at the tip we know the impedance is maximum. That's what the here 
the tip at the tip the impedance is maximum open circuit line here also the impedance is maximum impedance maximum means i0 that's what i have written here right so open circuit i0 and the current distribution is like this that's what i have drawn in the white okay so that's what we have to know about the concept right so here we assume that so whenever we want to find radiation we must know current distribution it is assumed that current distribution is known it is assumed that current distribution is known right right so why we are assuming that because calculating the current distribution is too tedious right it is out of scope of the syllabus so it is assumed that it is already known right so because calculation of current distribution is too tedious for any antenna so it is assumed that we have known that right so from that only we have to start our uh, derivation okay so first we write what is the sinusoidal current distribution the sinusoidal why we are taking because time varying current only can produce radiation so the sinusoidal current distribution is given by is given by i is equal to i max sin beta h minus z for z is greater than zero i is equal to i maximum sin beta h plus z for z is less than zero right so you see i m is a maximum current okay you see why it is correct uh, see when z is equal to h what will happen see when z is equal to h this is a positive direction so here z is equal to h here z is equal to minus h here z, this is i told antenna is in z direction so it is z, this center z greater than zero here z less than zero z greater than zero z is equal to h maximum at the point let us see what is happening at when z is equal to h when you substitute z is equal to h what will happen sin zero zero what is z is equal to h uh, when you substitute z is equal to h i will be zero yes or no you see when z is equal to h i will be zero because z is equal to h sin zero zero similarly z is equal to minus h this is sin h of h minus h sin zero zero i is equal to zero what is z is equal to h you see this is what z is equal to h yes or no this is z direction here z is equal to h i is zero i told that the tip current should be zero yes of course that is satisfied here z is equal to minus h so here also the current is zero that's what that's i have told already so at the tip of the antenna current should be zero so the equation is correct fine so this is very very important current distribution okay so this is the current equation current distribution for z greater than 0 is this one current distribution for z less than 0 is this one okay so what is the normal procedure we follow to uh, derive the uh, to analyze the radiation mechanism first we have a current distribution from that we will have a vector magnetic potential from this we will find h from which we will find e then we will find p radiated that is given by e cross h then be radiated we will find a power flow yes that is what integral p radiator dot ds this is the procedure here also we are going to follow the same procedure so i we found so where we have to analyze the radiation we have to analyze the radiation at the point distance point p because radiation is a uh, long distance phenomena right so here only we are going to find it is far away from the what do you call antenna the point p this is the observation point right okay so now we the derivation the vector potential vector potential a right 
at a point P, at a point P due to the current distribution I is given by dA small vector, right? That's equal to A is in Z direction, A is a D A is a A is a vector that is equal to mu naught i e power minus j beta d dz az divided by 4 pi d right so why da becomes daz uh, az because we know that the antenna is in z direction this is what antenna right i told it is in z direction so if current flows in the direction, current is flowing in the z direction. If current flows in the direct z direction, vector magnetic potential will also be in z direction because both i and a will be in same direction. Since i is in z direction, a will also be in z direction. That's why dA becomes any vector can be written in terms of unit vector. So d the magnitude is dA z direction is a z direction. Right, so this is what dA mu naught i. This is the magnitude of uh, vector magnetic potential. Right, okay. Let us consider this equation number one. Fine. So what is d here? We know that d is the distance from the current element to the radiation point P. Right. So I wrote here what is d? D is the distance from. I take here this one. D is the distance from the current element, is the current element, small current carrying element, right? From here to radiation point P is called D, right? So this is a, whatever the equation I have written, D A is current due to the, sorry, potential due to the, this small element. But I want potential due to the total length. So what I have to do, I have to integrate. So let me integrate. What will happen is total total vector potential total vector potential at P. This is due to the current element D Z, small current element, but I want a total length lambda by two. Right? So total vector potential at point P due to all current elements. This is what I told no. So first we find what is the potential due to small element, then I find it current due to total potential due to total element. So I want a total element. So what I have to do? Integrate. Integrate from from where to where I have to integrate total length is minus h2 plus h. So minus h2 plus h. Here you see mu naught i by 4, mu naught is constant, 4 pi is constant. I take it outside. Mu naught by 4 pi i e power minus j b d divided b d d z we take just only magnitude and solve the problem so this one i can write as mu naught by 4 pi i split the integration into two parts minus h is equal to h to 0 i max i is equal to i m right i m see minus h to 0 what is the current value minus h to 0 you see that is less than h this is sin beta h plus h this is what minus h to 0 this is what 0 to h because it greater than 0 right so i have already written here right minus h to 0 what is the current sin i m sin beta h plus z 0 to plus z plus h i m sin beta h minus z so i write like that i substitute the values what is the thing i m uh, sin okay sin of uh, beta h plus z divided by d plus e, sorry, e power minus j beta d dz right instead of i write this one and uh, h to 0 or 0 to h 
from 0 to h i m sin beta h minus z divided by d e power minus j beta d dz okay fine okay now we see we are going to find a radiation field right so we already know d is approximately equal to r you see why um, see the length here that is the only difference right d, this is the length d is the distance from uh, current element to the what you call radiation point r is the distance from the center of the antenna to the radiation point right so when you consider the long distance d is approximately this distance is not at all having an impact when p is far away from the antenna so d is approximately equal to r so the distance is not a problem in the you see here it is in the d so d is approximately equal to r but in numerator we cannot replace e power minus j b here we should not replace uh, so d is approximately uh, equal to r can be applied in denominator right whereas in numerator we cannot do like that because it is talking about phase e power minus j theta is nothing but a phase component right so you see when we go from here to here right this, let us assume this is the distance from here to here from here to here when it, this distance is so long in d this is total distance r we can uh, manipulate d is approximately equal to r right let us assume it is 100 kilometer this distance is 101 kilometer this is one kilometer or not one kilometer so i can manipulate d is approximately equal to r but surely the phase will change that phase change will be different right because uh, distance is changing means phase will also change that's what e power minus j beta d right so the phase will change so in numerator you cannot change it you cannot substitute d is equal to r in denominator you can change d is equal to r okay so we change uh, d is equal to r okay so now you see from the diagram from okay from this diagram we can conclude you see this is theta you can say cos theta if you take cos theta this is this distance x i don't know what is the distance so i write as x divided by adjacent by hypotenuse hypotenuse is z so this implies adjacent side is equal to cos theta into z yes or no so x is equal to z into cos theta so this distance is z is equal to z into cos theta what is d d this is the distance if you subtract uh, this x from r what you get is d d is equal to r minus x yes or no from here to here r if you subtract a x what you get is d so r minus x is z cos theta right so d is equal to r minus z cos theta so that distance we have to take so d is equal to um, what you call d is approximately equal to r in the denominator but in numerator we cannot do like that where we have to substitute d is equal to the distance we have to calculate r minus z cos theta now we substitute so if we substitute what will happen a a z y because it is in the direction only mu naught by 4 pi right so you can write mu naught by 4 pi what do you call minus h2 0 i m sin beta h plus z instead of divided by d in the denominator you can change it is simply a distance only r but here it is g d is in e power minus j e power minus j means it is phase component right so what you have to do there you cannot substitute d is equal to r where the d should be equal to e power minus j beta 
r minus z cos theta into d z. Similarly, put plus plus zero to h i m u naught by four pi. Here also u naught by four pi. Common for all both i m. Uh, here I didn't I forgot to write. So mu naught by four pi is common, right? So mu naught by four pi i m mm, sine beta h minus z divided by d as usual e power minus j beta r minus z cos theta into e power sine to dz okay fine now we see this is the thing we have done next we have to simplify this so I take a common factor outside mu naught i m i m is a constant because in uh, integration is ab about uh, z so e power minus j beta r will be a constant e power minus j beta r divided by 4 pi I take commonly mu naught by 4 pi everything everything is common so mu naught i m e power minus j beta r by 4 pi d is equal to r okay here also d is equal to r so i take r outside common minus h2 0 sin beta h plus z e power minus j or e power plus j beta z cos theta e power minus j beta r i have taken outside right similarly here h uh, 0 to h sin beta h minus z into e power j beta z cos theta dz dz okay fine now what do you have to do we finished this okay next for half a dipole antenna we know what is the thing h is equal to lambda by 4 2 h is equal to lambda by 2 is equal to lambda by 4 i told so substitute the value what will happen sin sin of beta plus h sorry sin of beta sin beta h plus z i can write as sin a <coughs> sorry sin a cos b plus cos a sin b right so h is equal to lambda by 4 beta h is equal to beta is equal to 2 pi by lambda h is equal to lambda by 4 lambda lambda cancel so it is pi by 2 right so beta h is equal to pi by 2 so here you see cos beta h will give cos 0 so this term will be cancelled so sin of beta h plus z plus or minus z is equal to whatever be the thing it will be cancelled so sin beta h sin beta h means sin pi by 2 sin pi by 2 is 1 so it is only cos beta h z yes or no sin beta h plus plus or minus h is equal to plus uh, z is equal to cos beta z so instead of uh, sin beta h plus z h you substitute cos beta z so here you see in this equation okay so this is the equation number i put some number for this equation then only it will be very easy so so this is equation number one right and uh, let me substitute uh, this is uh, equation number two that is that uh, this equation will be 
Number two. Okay, always I write this. This is the equation number two. From how far dipole antenna? Now I go for equation. So in equation number two, I substitute this value. So what will happen? So this can be written as mu naught i m e power minus j beta r divided by 4 pi integral minus h to 0 sin beta h plus h cos beta z e power plus j beta z cos theta plus you see 0 to h sin beta h minus z also cos beta z e power j beta z cos theta into dz and I assume this is equation number 3 okay so now what will happen but we know that uh, minus we can write minus h to 0 cos beta z into e power j beta z cos theta as 0 to pi p d z so the integration is with respect to z so d z varies from minus pi minus h to 0 so i write z is equal to minus z so what will happen 0 to pi so you see cos beta z e power minus j beta z cos theta dz what i did here z is plus z here i change it to minus z so the limit vary from pi to sorry h to 0 right so 0 to h fine so now instead of this value i substitute this because minus h to 0 i can write as 0 to h right so what will happen this implies uh, what do you call a z is equal to mu naught i m e power minus j beta r divided by 4 pi right so i write as See 0 to h, h is equal to lambda by 4, we know. So here 0 to h lambda by 4, 0 to h, h instead of h I substitute lambda by 4. Here also 0 to lambda by 4. Here e power I can write as cos beta z. Here also cos beta z, here also cos beta z common. Here it will be e power minus j beta z cos theta. Here e power plus j. So e power j beta z cos theta into dz. Right. So understand what I am doing. Instead of this value, I substitute this value here. And cos beta z is common for both integration. I take it outside. Right. So the remaining thing is e power minus j beta z plus e power j plus beta z okay now what will happen so that will be equal to mu naught i m by 4 pi e power minus j beta r 0 to lambda by 4 cos beta z this e power j minus plus e power j so it is 2 cos beta z cos theta dz right so this two you can take it outside mu naught i m by 4 by e power minus j beta r two outside 0 to lambda by 4 right this is uh, cos let us assume this is cos a this is cos b what will happen this will be equivalent to cos a plus b beta z a plus b beta z is common so beta z 1 plus cos theta plus cos cos a cos b is cos a plus b plus cos a minus b 2 so cos beta z a minus b 1 minus cos theta divided by 2 
lease it okay so what will happen this two this two will be cancelled so a z is equal to mu naught i m divided by 4 pi e power minus j beta r right this cos beta z i can integrate as cos of integration sin beta z 1 plus cos theta divided by beta into 1 plus cos theta similarly here integral cos is sin beta z 1 minus cos theta divided by beta into 1 minus cos theta limit goes from 0 to lambda by 4 okay now what will happen that will give mu naught i m divided by 4 pi beta will come here beta 4 pi r i missed 4 pi r okay here i missed 4 pi r i think yes everywhere it is 4 pi r so put here sorry so 4 pi r 4 pi r r r right okay 4 pi beta r right so into e power minus j beta r right so here beta i have taken outside 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta 1 minus cos squared theta a plus b a minus b a square minus b square 1 minus cos square theta that is equal to sin square theta so here this numerator this one will come here 1 minus cos theta sin beta z into 1 plus cos theta plus sin beta z into 1 minus cos theta sorry into 1 plus in here 1 plus cos theta this multiplication right so i take lcm okay fine so this will give if we simplify a z will be what will happen mu naught i m divided by right this is a common one sine beta z uh, right so i do like that let me do so mu naught i m divided by 2 pi b beta r e power minus j beta r into denominator will be sine square theta right in numerator cos pi by 2 cos theta will come right if you simplify okay so that's what why we know that here the integral goes from 0 to lambda by 4 so z is divided from 0 to lambda so beta z will become beta is 2 pi by lambda into lambda by 4 so it is pi by 2 right lower limit will be 0 only right so sine pi by 2 it will be sine pi by 2 1 plus cos theta you substitute the values so instead of beta z you substitute pi by 2 right so it will be what you get is uh, sine beta z right into 1 plus cos theta this is one term this is another term right okay so 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta right so you can manipulate this and uh, what you get is this is the equation right substitute all the values you get a z is like this okay so let us assume this is equation number four right so this is equation number four but we found a from a we have to find h so we found mu naught h pi y 
because we know from a b is equal to mu h that is equal to del cross a so mu not h by we are finding that is equal to del cross a del cross a in spherical coordinate system that is given by 1 by r square sin theta uh, r theta r theta r sin theta by component divided by rho by rho r rho by rho z sorry r theta phi rho by rho theta rho by rho phi a r r a theta r sin theta a phi here we know the thing is antenna in the direction so it is the radiation point we know that from here what we will know this is the r direction this is theta direction phi component will be rotating like this so perpendicular to the direction so phi will be zero whatever the field produced by in this direction will be cancelled by field produced by this direction so phi component will be zero so this one this one will be out right so what we get is we have this is zero this is zero if you simplify what you get is 1 by r do by do r r a theta minus do by do theta what you call a r right so from here this is theta right so we know that uh, a r is equal to cos theta is equal to this is a z direction right so uh, cos theta is equal to adjacent this is this direction by a z so adjacent is equal to a z cos theta so this length is a z cos theta similarly this is opposite this is theta this is minus theta direction so this indicates uh, what you call sin theta is equal to opposite direction divided by hypotenuse hypotenuse is minus a z this is plus a z so this is minus a z theta is in in this direction so minus so opposite direction that is this one that is given by opposite that is what a theta minus a z sin theta that is equal to a theta Sorry, it is minus a r is equal to minus a z sin theta. Okay, a, a theta. Right. Right? Fine. So you see, are you understanding the logic? This is adjacent side, right? I want this side, this is opposite side. Okay. So that's what I have found here. Sin theta is equal to opposite by hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is z. Right, so I found uh, AZ is minus AZ sin theta. So here we know this component will not produce radiation. Only R component will produce radiation. So this can be cancelled or neglected. Right, so we have 1 by R. 1 by R, when I bring the inside, it will cancel, RR cancel. So what is A theta minus AZ sin theta? So do by do R minus AZ sin theta. So sin theta I take it outside minus sin theta rho a z by rho z. This is what mu naught h pi. Right? Okay. Understand how I am writing like this? Sorry. The derivation is tedious, but they are easy only, right? Okay. Now mm, mu naught h pi is equal to minus sin theta is it now we got everything right so mu naught h phi right so minus sin theta dou by dou r instead of a z we have to substitute a z value here right we found a z value this is what our a z right okay a z is equal to i substitute mu naught im e power minus j beta r divided by 2 pi beta r 
cos pi by 2 cos theta divided by sin square theta right so this will give h pi is equal to j i m e power minus j beta r divided by 2 pi r cos of pi by 2 cos theta divided by sin theta this is what our h pi this we have to find h we have found so again it is rotational magnetic field now we find e we know e is equal to eta h so e is equal to eta we know 120 pi so j into 120 pi im e power minus j beta r divided by 2 pi r cos pi by 2 cos theta divided by sin theta that will give j 60 im e power minus j beta r divided by r cos pi by 2 cos theta divided by sin theta this is what e theta right okay right why i have used e theta please refer to my video on hc and dipole right otherwise just remember we have to find e theta why there is no e or e phi component you see my video on hc and dipole at all okay so e theta we found what is magnitude of e theta magnitude of e theta means what is the magnitude of j j will be one magnitude of e power minus j one so magnitude of e theta is 60 im divided by r cos pi by 2 cos theta divided by sin theta volt per meter this is e theta so we found e theta we found h value right e theta and phi are perpendicular so e electric field and magnetic field are perpendicular so e phi e h phi and e theta so if you want to find uh, h phi magnitude of h phi mod j is 1 mod e power minus j is 1 so i am divided by 2 pi r cos pi by 2 cos theta divided by sin theta Fine, this is what h pi magnitude of h pi. So that is fifth equation, this is the sixth equation, right? Okay, we found everything. Then what is the thing we have to find? That's all about this. So e theta and h pi we found. Right? So I hope you understand the derivation. Very simple. What is h pi? H pi is equal to magnitude. Magnitude of h pi is equal to I m divided by 2 pi r cos of pi by 2 cos theta divided by sin theta ampere per meter right so this we, uh, we have done next uh, okay so you see in spherical coordinate system r is perpendicular to theta perpendicular to phi so h is in phi direction theta is in uh, sorry e is in e theta direction so where it should propagate in r direction only that's what we have understood right we found the radiation along r direction only. so the answer is correct all all the three must be perpendicular so the wave is transverse electromagnetic wave the wave from a uh, half wave dipole is transverse electromagnetic wave right so that's all about this session. I will carry out power radiated and radiation distance in the one more video. Thank you.